Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and kind of show you guys my character progress in day one of me at least playing uh, Path of Diablo. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a really quick game uh, really fast. And for those of you guys who don't know what Path of Diablo is, it's just basically a uh, modded Diablo 2 server made by Green Dude that takes a lot of attributes from Path of Exile and kind of combines them into Diablo 2. So for example, like uh, skill reworks, uh, additional skills added in, uh, some skills completely modified and changed, uh, kind of a little bit of a different meta. I believe there's like an end game system for something. I don't know exactly what it is. I've never been that far. Um, some reworks and adjustments to rune words, additional items like vol orbs that kind of got added in. And you can actually check out the Path of Diablo Reddit if you just type it in on Google and you'll see it pop up there. <clears throat> so let me go ahead and also put as a disclaimer, I'm not very experienced at Diablo, th uh, Diablo 2. In fact, I know almost nothing about Diablo 2. I have like less than 100 hours on the game uh, overall. So I would not recommend following anything that I'm telling you, but I want to still you know, keep you guys updated with kind of what I'm playing. So um, I'm playing a uh, kind of like, I guess, classic summoner, as you could say, but there's a huge twist on the classic summoner that I'm going to be playing. So before I actually explain this, I need to show you guys some of the items because if I don't, then it's not going to make any sense. So, a uh, little bit of theory crafting for you guys, if you guys like that. One of the most recent changes, because we just had a ladder reset on May 12th, and today's, what, the 14th? So, this happened two days ago. There's, here's the actual, I can actually link this for you guys, the patch notes for what's going on uh, in the current one. But, if you look at the rune word, uh, bone, I just typed in bone, or I don't know how the fuck that happened, I couldn't even tell you. Uh, anyway, bone... Um, the bone rune word has been changed. So rune words for people who don't know, you basically socket them into certain pieces of gear, and if you put them in the right order, it creates its own type of, uh, I guess, piece of gear. So here's what bone added before, and here's what it adds now. You don't have to worry about anything except for this. Can summon one additional fire golem. So I don't really know much about, you know, money, um, fuck, many of the uniques and stuff, which was what makes this super interesting to me, but it adds some really good stats overall. So like level 10 bone armor, I guess was just pretty good overall. Plus two necromancer skills in a chest piece, very good. Flat mana, super good for just summoning in general. All res is really good in any scenario. Um, Summon one additional fire golem, and then I think the physical damage taken might be good if it applies before any reduction, so like it adds like a multiplier, but I don't know how that works. But the one additional fire golem is kind of how I'm going to make my build work. So fire golems um, now have a new effect where they actually buff your skeletal mages. So skeletal mages scale off of your golem, which is pretty cool. The other thing is that skeletal mages in this current patch only raise as fire because supposedly they're a bit stronger than the other ones. So the goal is going to be to obviously go into lower resistance so I can stack one damage property and still not get penalized on immunity mobs. So we can lower the resistance of the monsters. <clears throat> Note that I believe also in this patch you cannot lower monster resistance past zero. So this is mainly going to be for like rares, mob, uh, rare mobs, magic mobs, uh, immunities, and uh, bosses. But I can lower them. And then I can figure out what mobs to get with Revive. I haven't figured this part out yet, so I'll have to bring up Desecrate, which is another thing. But basically, we're going to be stacking Flame Golems, so I'll have two Fire Golems out with a bunch of Fire Skeletal Mages. I'll also have just regular Skeletons cause, cause, because we'll be scaling Summon Mastery as well. And these guys are going to be really cool. And we can just put like one point into Amp Damage because that's like double damage for Physical. So one point into Amp. And then anytime there's like a, you know, immune boss or something, I feel like I could just pop in like an amp and it would be okay. Um, still a lot of work to be figured out, but I want to show you guys a little bit of how it works right now. So also to go over my gear, I have a, a plus two summon. Now all this is pretty much self-found as well or played with my roommate. I haven't really went to the, the big trading yet. You know how I am. I don't like taking stuff because I want to figure out like the impact of everything first. I don't like getting handed gear. I want to earn it. I want to trade for it. Um, but before I trade for it, I want to know the value of it so, you know, I actually understand what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, basically I've got a plus two summon, um, summoning skills U1, which I basically just reset a shop to get, plus three lowered, uh, resistance, which is the curse I showed you guys, which is pretty cool. My helmet, I'm using a, uh, lore, which basically gives energy all res, sorry, energy plus to all skills, and then it gives lightning res, which is pretty nice. 
I'm using a stealth in my chess piece. Pretty much, I think everyone uses this for leveling. Uh, my gloves are pretty standard. They're just magic find. My shield I got really lucky with, and we found this off Diablo, which gives, what, 50 all res, 10 strength. That's pretty fucking good. Ideally, this would be replaced with a spirit shield, I think, but spirit shields require, like, 150 strength. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to be getting that anytime soon. Spirit is plus two all skills, basically. Uh, I've got pretty okay boots, nothing too crazy. Um, same thing with, like, the rest of my gear. I don't think there's really anything too special. Um... Yeah, my mercenary, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to use right now. I'm basically just using a defensive mercenary guy because the offense guy dies all the time. Uh, and he doesn't have anything too crazy. I'm not really going to go into my mercenary because I don't really know much about them. So I'll worry about that later. I know you guys are going to blow up my comments with suggestions. I'm not really going to be looking at much suggestions, guys, because I want to learn this game my own way. Um, and there's enough backseat gaming that goes on in the stream already. So I'm not trying to be rude, but if you're going to offer some suggestions, I'm probably not going to like respond too much. I'll look at it for insight, but don't expect me to go too crazy into that right now. Um, so yeah, let me just show you guys a little bit of the content. Um, so you guys can laugh at me. So let me just go to halls of the dead, I guess, cause there's not much else for me to go into. And now this is going to be like really weird because I don't know if I can even clear this without like, minions. Because I'm pretty sure I need my minions for this, but let's see. Can my golem, like, kill him? Okay, he's doing alright by himself. He's, he's getting him. He's chomping him. Yeah, we are also in Nightmare. I don't know if I brought that up. I'm pretty sure I brought that up. Or maybe I probably fucking didn't bring it up. So we've got seven mages at the moment and one skeleton. Let me, or, well, I can have six skeletons, not just one. I am gonna need to spec Desecrate at some point as well, so I can get like some extra corpses. I haven't gotten into that yet because I want to max out these guys first. Alright, so this is pretty much what it looks like. So essentially what we're gonna do with the character, the way the playstyle is, is you use Convocation. I've got one point in Convocation, and we are gonna be using like Flesh Offering and Bone Offering, but I don't have the Keybinds to swap around yet, I gotta get used to that still. Um, so Convocation basically is like a teleport on like a 10 second cooldown or something. And it puts all the monsters just like PoE on top of you. So you can see there's a rare here. So I'm going to pour onto his face and then lower his resistance. And you can see they'll single target him down. And that's really nice because that allows me to focus fire. Because typically when you play games like this, like the older games, it's a little difficult to, you know, force your minions with minion AI. But this was really cool. I don't even know if this is part of the normal game or if this is brought in with a mod because I don't know too much about D2. Um, but this convocation like really makes me happy because it makes me just, it actually makes me feel like I have a little bit more work to do. Like I have a role with my minions than just sitting there doing nothing. Um, you know, like I'm constantly actively going to be swapping between abilities. You know, you've got the convocation, you've got your curse, um, you've got your uh, offerings that you can have two of them on as, uh, as well. You can also throw down a desecrate, you've got bone armor to cast. There's a lot of work to be done uh, that I'm still not really adding in. So, so far, I'm having, honestly, a lot of fun with the character. We did, like, an 11-hour stream today, and I'm also playing with my roommate, um, Terror of the Night, who's playing a... Right now, I think he's Frozen Orb. He'll probably be going Frozen Orb and Hydra. Uh, so that's really cool as well. But anyway, if you guys liked it, feel free to check it out. And remember, Path of Diablo is pretty much all you need is a regular CD key to play the game. Um, and you can check out the... Uh, I'll, I'll pretty much have this stuff linked in the description if you guys are curious. It's hosted by Green Dude, uh, and there's servers pretty much all over. If you guys are curious, I can show you the current servers here. And you can actually buy into your own server if you want to as well. So here is pretty much the server listings for it. And the reason why Path, a lot of Path of Exile streamers play Path of Diablo, because uh, this is a really frequent question asked, is Path of Exile, just like Diablo 3, has seasons or leagues, uh, however you'd like to call them, or basically, you know, it's set up in three months. So you'd play the game for maybe a month or two, a month and a half, two months, but it gets a little stale after a while because most people kind of get bored. You know, that's normal. When you play a game for a little while, you get you get kind of bored. So Path of Diablo has its own ladder resets and Green Dude usually syncs it up to happen. Like I want to say, and I could be wrong on this because I don't play it too often, but it seems like it happens like towards the middle slash end of a league. So there's like that month to two weeks of free time where nobody's really playing anything because no one's really touching PoE. Um, so we all kind of jump here and have fun and play this and in this instance We're probably going to be playing it up until the beta goes which is like perfect timing And then when the beta comes we'll be playing that and then we'll probably you know, we'll see what happens um, But yeah, I mean the game is really cool if you want to check it out Like I said, I'll link all the stuff uh, POE let me see path 
of Diablo Reddit so you guys can see. It's literally right here and Green Dude has, um, he pretty much updates the game. He's active in a lot of the Twitch streams as well. So if you guys want to talk to him, it's basically like the developer for it, Kappa, right? So you can kind of just talk to him and ask him, you know, certain things. So it's a lot of fun. I really would encourage it. I don't ever really play like private server things. This is kind of like one of the first things that I've done. But I really like the way it's set up, especially because it's tied directly with the main game I stream, Path of Exile. And it's got like the whole community with it too. So it feels like I'm playing, I don't know, like a modded version of Path of Exile, which is pretty fucking cool. It's crazy to me to see how many similarities carried over from D2 to Path of Exile than from D2 to D3. I have maybe, you know, a couple hundred hours in D3, nothing recent, um, probably like over 10,000 hours in Path of Exile and only like 100 hours in D2. And the similarities between D2 and PoE, it's probably like 80% of them, 90% of them are shared over. And, and D3 just feels like a complete different game. Like if you were to look at a skill tree, it'd be like D2 branches off into Path of Exile and D3 is like fucking sitting in a corner all the way over here and like a completely different mastery called like shit. So it's just kind of weird. Uh, anyway, though, like I said, if you guys enjoyed the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I encourage you guys to check out Path of Diablo as well uh, if you guys are interested because, you know, a bunch of us on the PoE community are playing on it as well. Um, and most of us are playing in hardcore, so that's one thing to note. Anyway, though, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. I'm going to go fucking knock out because I've been up for like 30 hours. So have a good one, boys. Take it easy.